I'd like to go over some of the calculations for lab number three and a little bit about the graphing as well. So the calculations that I'm going to go over are based on uh, a few numbers. Uh, one is the mass of sodium chloride. That's what's going to go in this first box. That's going to be uh, the mass of the 50 milliliter grad cylinder plus sodium chloride minus just the grad cylinder. Here I've got 25.10 minus 20.12. I've got 4.98 grams of sodium chloride, which of course I can turn into moles. Uh, and that's what I'll need for molarity of sodium chloride. And then every single time I put that sodium, uh, every single time uh, I would, uh, oh, then I put that in 50 milliliters, 4.98 grams, and I'll turn that into moles first. So uh, molar mass is 58.44. I'm recording a video, so. To find moles, 4.98 divided by 58.44, 0 0.0852 moles. And then that was put into uh, 50 milliliters of solution, which is 0 0.0500 liters of solution. Uh, to three sig figs, 1.7 ohm molarity, sodium chloride. And that's going to be constant because we only made one of the solutions. And then we took three samples of that solution. And so uh, the next set of numbers we're going to get is whatever the mass of the beaker is. So you add 10 milliliters. And really we're adding 10.00 milliliters. And we've got a mass of solution here. So 16.96 minus 6.12 and I get 10.84 grams and so the density is going to be 10.84 grams of solution over milliliters of solution and for this first case uh, my first sample here it's going to be 10.84 divided by 10 for 1.084. And you can do that for each of the 10 milliliters, subtracting the one before it, so 27.53 minus 16.96, etc. But then uh, we're also going to need to do um, the uh, percent composition. which is equal to the um, mass of sodium chloride divided by mass of solution. And our mass of solution is this 10.84 grams. Oh, and that's times 100%, by the way. Now, um, I had 4.98 grams. Oop. There we go. And um, I put that in 50 milliliters. And then each of these samples was only 10 milliliters. So it's really one fifth of the 4.98. So we can say times 10 divided by 50. And you get 0 0.996 grams sodium chloride over 10.84 grams of solution times 100% and I get 9.19 uh, 
uh, sodium chloride mass by mass. Move that over there. That is my percent composition. And of course, for every single one of these, for each of my densities, uh, or for each of my 10 milliliters, there we go, I can get both a density and a percent composition. All three of them you can average and take standard deviations of. Now, uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to talk about how to get the uh, molarity of the diluted solution. And the process for that, so molarity diluted, is that from our initial concentration, we went and diluted, we took 10 milliliters and diluted it to 50 milliliters. So it's a dilution, M1V1 equals M2V2. We know that we started with 1.07 molar. We took 10.00 milliliters of that. Then we don't know M2, but we ended up with 50 milliliters. And by dividing, we can go ahead and do 1.7 times 10 divided by 50. I get 0 0.34 and to third sig fig 0 0.340 molar sodium chloride and that's going to be the molarity of my dil diluted solution. Okay now as far as the graphing goes you're going to be making four graphs so two by hand and two using a program such as Excel or Google Sheets or other programs, I'm fine. Uh, uh, one of them is going to be uh, molarity versus density. And molarity is going to be on your y-axis while density is going to be on your x-axis. So you'll make that by hand and using Excel. You'll also make a graph for percent comp versus density, where density will be on the x-axis and percent comp will be on the y-axis. So by hand and using Excel. And I'll be interested to see how your graphs look. They may or may not be the straightest of lines, um, but fit a trend line to it uh, by hand and using Excel as well. Hopefully that's some good tips for you.